When people write and talk about misinformation and interference in elections, particularly coming from foreign sources, they mean not just creating fake news, although that's a part of it, they also mean amplification, stories that are amplified over others to make those stories seem more important. That's a concern coming from Russian bots, from bots within China, and also you saw that in the conversation about the US presidential election and whether or not there were several hundred bots that were amplifying, promoting this or that story or this or that political campaign rally. Well, you know, it's funny because I think we shouldn't just talk about amplification of news coming from foreign sources, but let's talk about amplification here in Canada, within our own soil, coming from our own media and from our own political operatives. And what that tells us about, well, not about foreign interference because it ain't foreign, but about bias. Writing in my recent column in the Sun Post Media Papers, I say my media colleagues better get their anti-share bias in check pronto. And I'm not faulting people for creating fake news, although sometimes there are, of course, stories that we doubt the authenticity of them, but more about what is promoted, what is amplified, and what is not. So, for instance, we have the story about Andrew Scheer and his 14-year-old video making remarks about same-sex marriage, why he would not support them. Now, this was amplified massively. It became the story that we all must read, the story that everybody must have an opinion on. It was rammed down people's throats as the top issue of the day. Clearly, various reporters, they, they told themselves somehow, them and their editors, there was a mechanism within them. The gears got going where they decided this, this is really where it's really at. This is the big story of the day. You gotta pause and go, really? I mean, I think that speaks to some sort of inherent bias. I think that speaks to where your headspace is at, that you feel that that really is the top story of the day. It all came out because Ralph Goodale pushed a video showing Andrew Scheer making these remarks. Ralph Goodale himself, as we all know now, also voted against same-sex marriage. Now, there are a whole lot of members of parliament and provincial and local politicians who are posting a whole bunch of things to social media every single day. They're not all news. So why is this news? Well, because sources, domestic sources, in the Canadian media decided to amplify the stories. And what's interesting is that there are some stories that are amplified and other stories that are not. For instance, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and the Liberals found themselves in a bit of a hot spot when Benebrith Canada posted a press release about concerns about one Liberal candidate who had said remarks that were characterized as anti-Semitic. Now, he's the previous imam of a Montreal mosque that was the victim of that tragic massacre a couple years ago, and he had risen to national prominence giving one of the speeches at the memorial. I guess the Liberals thought, hey, we have a good candidate here. We would like this imam to enter the Liberal caucus. Well, Benebrith Canada comes out with this press release and then the Liberals pretty quickly dump him as a candidate after that. And there's now debate raging as to whether or not the Liberals weren't sure about these remarks, didn't really fully know about them. They said they'd been doing an investigation for a couple weeks or if they only dumped him because he was caught. Well, he's now done a press release and he has said that, no, the Liberals knew and they were working with me on this to sort of massage all of this and maybe explain what I was actually getting at and why it's misleading and why it's not actually anti-Semitic and so forth and we were going to deal with all of this. Okay, that's very interesting and I'm not commenting on those particulars. Maybe we'll learn more a bit about them. But that story was not particularly amplified. I mean, is it sort of being basically reported on? Yes, and the major news outlets are acknowledging, hey, here's a candidate. They had questions about him. He was dumped. The story kind of went dormant for a couple of days. He had the press release, the press conference. That press conference will be sort of basically reported on, so the rudimentary work will be done. But hands down, I guarantee you, it is not going to be the amplified story. The story that we all must discuss, that's rammed down our throats as the top issue of the day that you all must have an opinion on, and Justin Trudeau is going to be hounded and dogged at every event to make comments on this, like Andrew Scheer was about his 14-year-old video. So I say all of this because it makes me chuckle when I hear concerns about certain foreign interference because, of course, the main, the main concerns are the amplification of stories that work one way or the other. And it is a concern. And, of course, we don't want that. We don't want a whole bunch of Russian bots pushing anything for or against Justin Trudeau or Andrew Scheer because, hey, it's not their country. It's our democracy. But you kind of got to chuckle that the same stuff that we hear about a fear-mongering happening from foreign sources... It's kind of already happening here in our domestic sphere with many of our mainstream voices.